Hey guys, this is Sarge here at C4 Defense. I'm over here at Trailblazer Firearms, and Aaron has something very cool that he's been working on for a little while that he wants to show us. Aaron, thank you for having me over. Good to see you again. You were here a few years ago, and of course, yeah. uh, you know us as the maker of the life card. Oh, yes. So it's a credit card sized pistol chambered in 22 long rifle or 22 magnum. It's the size of a credit card when it's folded up. Very thin, very discreet. It's it's a gun that I came up with that you could just have with you all the time. There's yes. no reason why you couldn't have it with you. Our next gun, though, is a little bit bigger. We've partnered with Savior Equipment okay. for this yeah. backpack. Familiar with their stuff? They make all sorts of gun bags. Yeah. I reached out to them, and they were very accommodating to help us design a custom bag for our next gun. Let me open this up and introduce you to the Pack 9 Wow. Now, is this a rifle or a pistol? So this is a rifle by definition, 16 inch barrel and a little over 26 inches long okay. when it's open in the firing position. Folds about a pivot point. It'll fold either direction. Okay. So you open it up like that and now you're in a firing condition. Um, you have a charging handle that doesn't reciprocate, that's forward, it's biased a little bit for right-handed people, but as a lefty, um, everything that I do is, is mostly ambidextrous. Okay. So this gun, as we mentioned, is chambered in nine millimeter. It accepts Glock compatible magazines. We'll be shipping these with Magpul P mags. Yeah. Um, a flush fit, 15 round, would fit in a Glock 19. Uh, it also is flush fit in our pack nine. Okay. Wow, 15 rounds of nine millimeter in a very small package. Yeah. So the gun is very compact. You saw it folded up. It's about 20 inches long, fits in a backpack. It's also very slim. As so, you can yeah, see you there. Can tell it's very thin as well. Yeah, so I measured a Glock 19 when I was trying to establish kind of my, my parameters for this gun. And we kept this gun the same thickness across its whole length as okay. a Glock 19. So you've got, you know, it's exactly the same dimensions. Okay. Forward charging handle locks back um, to fold it. You have to lock it back to fold it. Um, but it is non-reciprocating. As I said, it's biased to the left for a right-handed shooter, but it works equally well for a left-handed shooter. You can do the old... HK slap. The HK slap. <laughs> the gun has a manual safety that oh, it's, it's is on both sides. It's best operated with your trigger finger. So you take your finger off the trigger and operate it, but you can also do it with a thumb of your non-shooting hand. Okay. The collapsible stock gives you an additional three inches length of pull, and it will also accommodate up to a 27 round PMAG when it's collapsed. And you still got room to get your hand in there, plus it'll close. Sure, yep. And it'll hold the smaller magazines as well. Okay. Familiar controls uh, for Glock users. It is a Glock um, magazine release. That, that part is compatible. We have Glock style pistol sights. Oh, it does have, that'll ship it does with have the gun. sights as well. Yep. Front and rear. They have to be moved forward a little bit to be able to get the right eye relief so you can focus on them, but they work really well. And you still have about probably a 12 inch yeah. sight radius. Yes, on that. that's a very, that's much longer than a, than a pistol, that's for sure. Definitely. Then we got pick rail along the back and a short section in the front. Some people might choose to put uh, AR style backup iron sights. They fit nicely. Um, you might want to put that up there, but also any, any smaller red dot, anything that's pick rail compatible yeah, you, you can mount put, right on it like you said you could put regular ar backup sights on it if you chose to they work well is this m lock is what it looks like we have m lock on the fore end on both sides there's a section of m lock underneath on the lower receiver okay. for uh pistol grip forward pistol grip because you can have that on a rifle sure. versus a pistol you can have a forward grip that's correct we have one qd attachment point behind okay. the pistol grip that allows the gun to hang yes, muzzle down for a, with a single, for a single point, point sling. sling. 
So as you know, this is not the first backpack pistol caliber carbine. There are other ones out there on the market. Yeah, and, and I know when I think of them, I think of the Ruger, because I think that's probably the most popular one right now. Certainly, and the Ruger PC carbine is one of my favorites. Um, I mean, everybody likes them. Absolutely. So this gun is a takedown. That's the way that they accomplished putting it in a backpack. And I've got it out here primarily just to demonstrate the size, relative size of our gun compared to the Ruger PC carbine. Well, it's, it's definitely wider, you can tell that. It's definitely a difference in the thickness. These are about the same length when I'm folded up and we've got the barrel taken down off of this. Of course, this is their rifle. Yes. They do make the pistol now. But for a rifle platform, they're pretty similar. Overall length, I think this gun is gonna come in probably in the 30, I forget, it's, yeah. it's well over 30 inches. Now, like I said, now not knocking this gun at all, but on this one, if you have an optic, it's back here in the receiver, and then you're taking the barrel on and off, but on yours, the optic stays with the barrel. That's correct. So we have essentially a monolithic upper receiver, this aluminum piece that runs the length of the gun. The bolt, all the action is here in the rear. The barrel is mounted around the chamber mm -hmm. to the upper receiver and your sights are on top of that. We, even when the gun pivots around, there's nothing, all the, the, the barrel, the action, the optics are all one unit. And like I said, I haven't heard people complain that these lose like their point of aim, point of impact, but with this, there's no way for it to lose its point That's of correct. aim or point of impact because it's always in the same position. That's correct, for sure. And they're just different guns. This is not a, it's not something. Just, just a different application. They're, they're different. Okay. Well, a well done example of a PCC for sure. And we're talking about how thin it is and how it, how it folds up. Are you going to have any other attachments available for it or any other things that you're working on? Well, one possibility that we've considered and we'll have to work up to it, we chose to use Glock magazines, Glock mm -hmm. compatible magazines, because of their, uh, how common they are in the marketplace. But if the market requests, we could easily step into grip modules that would accommodate SIG magazines okay. or Beretta magazines or you name it. Okay, okay. I'm sure the SIG, I'm sure you're referring to the 320s. Sure, the I'm 320. Sure the, the 320 series, there's a lot of people out there that, that have those as opposed to the Glock, so different modules would probably be a tremendous benefit. Certainly, and we're not, we're not there yet, we're not ready to announce that, but the gun would support a user configurable different, different pattern magazine. Now this is a prototype. When do we think the finished gun is gonna be out? That's a great question. Uh, as you can imagine, this is, has been a long process for us. I mean, when, when did you start this? <laughs> I actually got my utility patent for this gun in 2014 or 2015. So I was wow. working on it at least that far back. So I don't, I don't think people realize just how long it takes to go from an idea to a finished product. And I, um, I don't know whether this one is, is the end product, but this is, this is well on the way towards getting to the end product? This is very close to what we expect to be okay. shipping. Hopefully early next year, we've not set that in stone, uh, any firm dates. Well, I don't wanna, I don't wanna put you on the spot. So that, that, that is to be determined. It is to be determined, as is the final price point. Yes, yes. I'm sure, I'm sure that's gonna, there's gonna be a lot of factors that go into that. Definitely. Um, have you been, it, it, we, can we shoot this one? We can, we'll go right outside and shoot oh, this. Oh, wow. Um, I don't know whether there's anything else I need to, to ask about it. Can you, can you show me how this breaks down again and which way it goes? Certainly, so it will spin either direction, but there's a, the takedown button is just forward on the, at the very end of the lower receiver. So we just press that. Take the magazine out, press the button. So the magazine does have to be out? It does. Good. That's correct. That's, that's just another safety feature. That's, that's a, that's it is. Good. It's, it was important to us to make sure that the gun wasn't chambered yes. when it was folded up. But there's a lot going on to have the barrel facing backwards, um, spinning around. So 
that was our answer to that to make sure that it's safe. Well, that, that makes sense. That way there's no chance of, of it being loaded. And did you say, and it has to be, the bolt has to be to the back in the newest one? That's correct. In the most recent prototype, uh, the way that we expect to produce it, the charging handle would be locked to the rear. Okay. The magazine removed. Those are the only two things. Okay. But it, it, it has onboard mechanisms that would prevent it from being folded in any other condition. Good, good. So in, to, in reverse, to put it into action, you take it out of the backpack, charging handles locked to the rear, press one button, locks forward, insert a magazine, slap the charging handle, it's ready to fire. Okay. Pretty fast. Well, yeah, and the, and the, the bag is nice and small, it's very discreet. Uh, the package is nice and small. It looks like it's going to be a lot of fun. I, I can't wait to go out there and shoot it. Yeah, let's do it. All right, let's go. All right, now that we're out here on the range, Aaron's going to show us how the Pac-9 operates. I think I failed to mention when we were inside that the Pac-9 is a straight blowback action. Okay, okay. Well, I'm going to step out of your way just so you can get some on target. There we go. Want to try it? Oh yeah, I want to try it. This is a this is a sturdy gun. It's nice and hefty. I yes. mean, not too hefty, but you know what I mean. That's right. The Pac-9 comes in right about five pounds. Okay. All right. Oh well, yeah, I would love to shoot it. Let's see. So, load it. HK slap. Very little recoil and it's, it's comfortable. I like it. I like it. That's, uh, that's definitely well designed and I can't wait to see the finished product. Yeah, uh, one more thing that I think I failed to mention, may have seen it, but we are gonna ship with a threaded barrel. Okay. So it'll be suppressor ready and what do you say we shoot a few rounds suppressed? I think that would be a great idea. Finally was able to get some 147 grain, nine millimeter in stock. We've been having fun with that lately. Oh, I would say so. That sounds like a uh, that sounds like a BB gun. <laughs> not bad, is it? No, that's not bad at all. There we go. A little longer with the can on it. Well, I gotta say, I appreciate Lima coming out here and checking this out. I think you've got a winner on your hands, and I cannot wait to see the finished product. Thank you very much. Always great to have you out here. All right, thank thank you. you. Hey, we'll see you on the range.